there is a very different role that economics can play for the common good compared to what it does. But here, I think it's also important to recognize that what we have today, mainstream economics, is only one tradition of economics, that there has been a very long and rich alternative tradition, which is typically ignored, which is not taught in most schools, colleges, and universities, which is not promoted in research, which is not allowed into institutions, research institutions, and policymaking. I'm referring to a tradition, well, certainly there is a long tradition if you look at the Asian traditions and so on, but even in Europe, think of you know Giovanni Botero, Antonio Serra, people who talked about increasing returns from the very beginning, who recognized why some cities in Italy did better than others, why Northern Europe does better than Southern Europe. These are obvious questions in development. And when you think about those, when you bring in economies of scale, synergies, innovation, what enables innovation in certain periods, then you recognize that a lot of these things can actually have a very important bearing today in developing countries. So it matters for people how we understand how economic processes have played out. It's very, very important for everyone to know this. And it's important to use those insights. Those are not the insights that we are given from mainstream economics today. We are given a very static, I would say moribund approach, which does not enable us to recognize the dynamisms and to take the advantage of those dynamisms, which does not emphasize the inequalities that certain processes bring about and how you could rectify those or remedy those. So I would argue that economics can still play a huge role, a positive role. Currently, I do not believe mainstream economics does. It seeks to justify a status quo and it seeks to perpetuate the power of capital over labor very, very broadly. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. Whereas there is a long and rich tradition of much more pluralist economics which does provide us important insights that could benefit the common good.